I'm Olaf. I'm from Berlin. I'm an agile coach and I love reading fantasy. And I discovered that agile coaches can learn a lot from this world witches. <laughs> <laughs> this world is a world as it should be. It's flat. On the backs of four elephants, which stand on a turtle that travels through space. It's a place where magic works. It's a place where the third son of a king will actually get the princess. It's a world where the eighth son of an eighth son needs to become a wizard. Where the third wish is the one that you need to uh, undo the wrath that you created with the first two. So, witches? Seriously, what do witches have to do with agile coaching? One quote uh, kind of got my attention. It's, witches live and flourish on gossip. And I was like, whoo! <laughs> witches have this interesting concept of headology, which is the disc world version of psychology. It's basically about what people believe is what is real for them. Stories influence our intent identity. They uh, make up who we are, they build our tribes, they form our cultures. So <clears throat> the stories we think, the stories we tell, the stories we hear, influence and shape our reality. And witches on this world have a very interesting way to influence people with stories. The girl who's in one of the books kind of approaching to be a witch asks, is there a school? Something like Hogwarts. And the witch says, yes, there is a school. You just need to open your eyes. And then, you need, to open the, you need to open your eyes again. And then you see the witch's school. And this is the first thing that a witch needs to learn. It's called first sight. It's a skill. You see things for what they really are. You see what's really there. And because you always need to doubt yourself, you also need a second skill, which is called second thoughts. So that you can think about what you're thinking. And then you can question what you're thinking. There's also third thoughts and fourth thoughts which sometimes make people run into trees, but that's another story. <laughs> Overall, <clears throat> witching is about smoothing out life's humps and bumps. And this is what I loved when I read it. I thought, yeah, this is exactly what I do in a company. Smoothing out humps and bumps, helping people make things happen. Sometimes that requires finding the right lever to get an effect with minimal and gentle impact, so that we can make something work, that we can make something happen. Witching is all about helping people, especially when life is on the edge. It's about bringing things into the world, bringing life into the world, and also gently bringing life out of the world. And I think we really lack as a community a skill and the habits of letting things go. One thing that's Rather aspirational for the agile coaching community is witches never ask for anything in return. That doesn't mean they don't get paid. Because you don't want to offend a witch, right? The witches don't have a leader. The main reason they don't is that Granny Weatherwax never would allow any leader. <laughs> Think about the impact on, or the influence on the agile community yourself. Hadology is similar to psychiatry in effect. When you are bothered by monsters that are chasing you in your dreams, and you go to a psychiatrist, he will try to persuade you that there is in fact no monster. A headologist will give you a large bat. <laughs> One thing I learned uh, with all my understanding of coaching and how coaching works, it doesn't stop being magic just because we know how it's done. Thank you. <laughs>